Good morning, you stinky little gooby. I don't know what it is. I've seen a couple of videos now. Maybe I should start with the fact that I watch TikTok while I do cardio at the gym. So let's get that out of the way. Next thing is that I've seen so many videos now about the MetaQuest 3 and just like people going about their life with the headset on with like YouTube just on a cabinet or something. So obviously that's making me want to get one. But there's also the the really small part of it of just like $500 sitting around. Um, I quite like to do 24 hours in MetaQuest 3 and just kind of see what happens, you know? Um, but yes, we need, uh, we need, we need $500. No cash up LinkedIn bio. Don't know. It's not, it's not. I will, if it's there accidentally, I'll remove it. Just so, yeah. I saw, what's going on? I saw one video this morning. What's the name for it? The silent audience, I think was the name for it. So the video is, I'll just play it to you now. So you expect the man to go all out on the first day, is that right? I mean, you're supposed to. Look at me. Uh, What's wrong with the Cheesecake Factory, right? Yes, there's a lot wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. Okay. Well, Look at me. I cannot go in the Cheesecake Factory. There's nothing wrong. I, I will die. That's okay. embarrassing. Then maybe we're not ready in a relationship for such a nice, fancy uh, restaurant as Aria. Especially if I'm paying for the whole thing. Maybe we're not right for each other. Well, respectfully, I'm gonna just drop you off at home. Super weird situ situation that she would be recording on a first date. I don't know if it's planned or not, but recording on a first date and speaking into the camera as if the guy isn't there. And then it brings across this, I'd rather talk to the camera as if I'm talking directly to you. And it's like, I, it got me thinking that what I'm doing here could be kind of dangerous. Like for now, I'm just, I guess thinking out loud, talking out loud. <laughs> and most of it's gibberish. But at this point, like we don't really have, I don't really have anyone watching, but I wonder how much it would change either consciously or subconsciously in my mind. Like what if we had 100,000 views on each video would that change the way that I act? Would that change the way that I talk to the camera? I mean, I hope not, because I, I really, I kind of just want to keep this as like a, just a video log of what I'm doing, just kind of thinking through it. You know, there are parts where I want to create value for you. Like, so stuff that's informative or interesting. Right, but I don't want to think about it too much. I don't want... I don't want to wake up in the morning and think, okay, I have to make like this video exciting. I have to do something crazy for it. I don't want to be thinking like that. I just want it to be, you know, low-key bro, based, fire. I don't know what any of that was. Actually, this morning I learned that based is looking or not caring about what other people think. Is that right? Do I have that right? I've, I've been hearing that word for at least six months. No idea what it meant. I feel like I still don't really know what mid is. Is mid like, it's okay, it's, it's acceptable? Gosh, could crush you. I just remember that Dave Portnoy and Andrew Schultz interview where I think it's Dave Portnoy says mid and Schultz is like, are we saying that? Are we, are we at the age we can say that? <laughs> it reminds me of the Fortnite clip where I think Ninja says something 
that like a Gen Z would say. And I think he's about my age, maybe 30, early 30s. He says something that Gen Z would say and clicks and his chat just ruin him for it. And he gets really butthurt about it. I mean, I get that he's being called old, which is never nice, but I don't think that's any reason to get butthurt <laughs> for that. I also had this idea, please see me. Okay, nice, thanks. I also had this idea for the Needle Mat series is that one of the videos I cover my back in numbing cream and see if we get the same effects because it's the endorphins or endocrines or I'll have to look it back up. It's something that is released into the bloodstream because the, oh, I don't even know if that's true. Something gets released into the body. <laughs> Bit of lemon water. Come up with a genius idea for a TikTok. We're about to edit that one, but stage priorities, get the contract signed with the manager, get some clips from the second YouTube video edited, film the needle mat, got to get that bad boy done today. How are we doing from yesterday? It's a great question, by the way. 73 and a half thousand views. This video, the first 20 minutes, sorry, the first hour, look at that, 50, 26, thousand views in the first hour and then dead I don't know you can't I don't know how you explain how this happens holy hell yeah so this video should start pumping okay so you can see here Three seconds, we're about 70%. By 10 seconds, we're at 57%. Doing pretty well. And then by the end, we're up at you know 26% just over a minute, and then we drop down to 20% or so. But this is actually a really good graph to tell what happened here. So let's figure it out. So why did everyone drop off? Weird. That's really weird. Um, so as a whole, retention is amazing on this video, but we have the extreme drop off where I start to explain how this all works. This is like, that's a crazy, um, I guess like realization like on a humanitarian level, geez, what a flipping idiot. People are interested in the needle mat, but they're not interested in how it works. They're just interesting to see how someone does it. That's so interesting. So people just want to see how something progresses, not necessarily learn about it. Man. Anyway, we should see this video just based on these analytics should go go pretty hard, dude. Let's work out the engagement. The likes ratio isn't fantastic. So if we do, I don't know what you want a free pair of socks, maybe. <laughs> so five, eight, nine, five. So I'm working out the engagement rate, which is essentially the way of seeing how much people liked your video. So we'll do likes plus comments plus shares plus saves. I think I then do divided by the number of views. I should have put all those in parentheses. Divided by 73,000. So it gives us about a 9% engagement rate, which I think my average is like 21 or 22%, which is, a, which is insane across social media. And I don't say that from a place of it's, it's my stuff. It's insane. <laughs> I say that just from a metric, right? I think they say like 
between four and six percent is high. Okay, so but typically what happens is before a video goes out to the for you page, so it hits your followers first, I think, you get a pretty good engagement rate because it's the people who like your videos. And you know, you guys are awesome, by the way, who like videos straight away. Um, so you see the likes come in at the beginning, and it's normally higher than the like it's normally higher than 10%, let's say. So if you have 10k views, you should have a good engagement rate would be like a hundred plus. Okay. Then as you start to go out to the for you page, as it starts to find its audience, you normally don't get as many likes or as much engagement. And then it like there's if you know if your video is going to do really well, it pops off. And this is where you find out that it either just like just does not do well on, on the engagement scale or it does really well. Like if I find I think one of the other needle mats did was better Legos. Yeah, see, I would like to have seen the likes here up at 630,000. I know that's like crazy numbers. Here. This needle mat one, so 5.2 million views and 734,000 likes. Let's do this, shall we? So we'll just do five, two, zero, 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 zero. <laughs> and then saves 36 and a half thousand, 36, 400. Let's go back to the beginning. Likes seven, three, four, 600, 368 comments and 1,091 shares. So here, yeah, you're looking at 15% engagement rate. Mad. I'm glad people enjoyed it. That's what's really cool about this, is seeing people enjoying the videos. You know, you rarely get people commenting how much they love the video, or if they liked the video. So these are like, that's, my way of being able to see if someone enjoyed it or not. I'm not actually crazy into looking at the metrics all the time, but I do think they're useful to see. It's way easier for me when I start doing a screen recording to stop the video and then restart it as the screen recording starts. Just so I know, because like, when I'm editing, I don't really watch the whole clip through. I just kind of skim bits and try to see if I had a screen recording or not. But it's nice to know right at the beginning of the video. So like this is what I'm looking for. Put that at the beginning. And then I will just export that part. Send it to me telephono. I'm just saving this desktop. I'm really not very good at organization. I want to be. I've actually a midway <laughs> I say I'm midway through. I'm midway through a program that will when a memory card is inserted, inserted, it'll detect the memory card, offer you a number of prompts, just like up on your computer, and automatically copy the information over to the folder that you assign in the program, or at that time the program runs. So ideally then, when I come back from a shoot, I just plug in the memory card, and it will just do it automatically. All right, let me show you what I'm doing here. Stopping screen record. Where's the uh, audio? Okay, well, you know what? If I just save that video, I'll rip it into CapCut. I still think CapCut is a hell of an app. So there, add, audio, 
extracted from this video. I think I need to turn the volume down. Text, auto captions, nothing. <sighs> Templates, let's throw on a template, shall we? Font, cherub, style, that one. Look in the mirror and get a little fright as well, looking at myself, because I am an absolute animal, a machine. So I... That's not, don't like that one. It's not as powerful as I want it to be. I want it to be freaking crazy. I want someone to be like, oh my gosh. I don't, I don't want that. That one I'll do. Look in the mirror and get a little fright as well, looking at myself, because I am an absolute animal. There we go. Volume. I, there was actually a point when I was making content, there was part of me that really, um, like I'd, I wanted people to know that like I'm educated, I'm not actually an idiot. And all the things that I've achieved in life and what I'm trying to do, et cetera. But I, I can't remember what the switch was now, but when I was making like photo and video content, I just remember there's, there was a part of me that always wanted to try and slip in something good about me in terms of you know, having a degree or having a master's or a job or whatever. And I didn't think about it at the time, but I later realized actually I was doing that because I wanted people to think that I was good. But na like, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened, what changed, but I just flipped and I'm so much happier for it. Like I, I don't care about putting in, you know, my achievements and whatnot. If, you know, if we get to a place that people care enough and that stuff comes out, cool. But I think, you know, I'm not, not that I'm trying to hide it at all, but I think making myself look better to other people, I don't, it kind of makes what I'm doing here seem unattainable, I think. Because you, you know, you might look at someone else and be like, oh my gosh, they can only, they're only doing that because they, have a degree or have a master's degree or because they're this age or because they have this equipment and I have whatever this is right now down to like serious serious hard work for eight years and now there are things that I would you know in hindsight I would do differently but I wouldn't change it right now like I wouldn't go back and change it because it's all gotten me to where I am now and I'm happy with where I am now. God, I, I don't stop bloody blabbering, do I? I think this is an interesting discovery too. Social media gurus will tell you to engage with a social media, like a brand's social media account, comment on it, like it, like try to make friends with the person behind it. And not every brand is it this case. But you know, that can be a good idea. But when you think about how businesses are set up, you don't typically just have one social media group within a company that does their own social media, finds people to create social media on their platforms, finds people to create social media on their own platforms. That's not just one team that does that. They're segregated teams and those teams may not even talk to each other. So DMing the account on Instagram unless you have a serious following or they really, really like your content 
but I don't think it's really going to go anywhere. So like this one, for example, the Heedy's video, Heedy's commented. I think, and what has this, this has gotten 459,000 views with 86 and a half thousand likes. That's almost double the number of like, that's almost a 20% like to view ratio, you know, give or take. But it'd be cool if those companies like saw this, maybe they don't want to work, you know, passed it on to someone on the influencer relations team is like, hey, I really enjoyed your video. Thank you for doing that. Um, we, you know, even if they're not interested in partnering in the future, just being like, it's not kind of our style, but we appreciate what you made. You know, like, let's make it more personal. I don't know, that's a silly expectation, isn't it? What am I doing? I'm going here, I'm going here. Okay, let's, let me have a final review of this contract, send it back over to the manager, and then we'll get on with uh, making some clicks, because I have a s clips, I have a slightly different idea. Also, I had Ruger down here earlier, we were just, I was just copying over some files, holding him, bird just smashed into the window. Like, dude, how dare you? It was fine though, it flew off. All right, I'm fully aware that this top is not ideal, okay? Um, I thought right now we would time how long it takes to take one of my long form videos and then cut up clips, get them edited and processed. Like I, can't, I really, I want to understand how long that takes. So I'll screen record, like I should already have been doing. And if you can hear the noise in the background, let's just turn it off for this bit. Sorry, dude. I'm trying to warm the room up because it's freezing for the needle mat later because I'll be, I'll be topless, get my nipples out. Um, all right, first thing we're going to do is duplicate the project and make it a vertical one. We'll call it clips. Um, should we smart conform everything? No, it'll take forever and it's not what we want. Get to the new one. All right, so we're probably, I don't know how long that's taken. Dude, don't tell me you need to go out. Oh, dude. Go on then, go, go. You both wanna go out, okay. I don't remember the last time I sat down for just eight or however many hours at a time and just got work done. Okay, see you later. Okay, so we'll clip there. That's a really freaking good clip. That's a gnarly clip right there. I don't, I think it's number four. I don't count very well. Oh, Woogie's shouting to me, is he? Look at your shoes, dude. Those are cool. Okay, I think we'll stop it there. So it's about 16 minutes just to pick out the shots. Like this video is still kind of fresh in my mind, but I wonder if it'd be much quicker if I, when I make the actual video, I just cut the clips out there and then. I think this part I would have, ideally I want someone to take over the whole editing part of like this here. It's very light work, but there's just a lot of it. Okay, I guess let's, um, stop here and see how long it takes to get them sorted in CapCut with captions. New project. Oh, I had this idea that I just find satisfying clips. It's 30 minutes of it. That should do, shouldn't it? Okay, let's get the captions done for these. Text, nope, nope, yes. 
auto captions create. Captions done, fam. That was easy, fam. <laughs> All right, let's go templates. Let's just do the quick brown frock frocks. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. You know, what I would like to know is the your TikTok story. Does that go to like FYP? I think I would think that should just go just to your followers. Your story. Right, let's get you on the clip. I, I guess you can go on top then. So scale is going to have to go way up to there. And then I'm going to bring you a long way down. Let's do minus 500. We have to crop the top, aren't we? Like that's half an hour. We've only just spat out our first one. Okay, so to do 15, it took us about 33 minutes. That's a second. So that's going to be an hour a day. Essentially, I'm spending two hours a day on this because I'm spending an hour in the morning editing and then an hour getting clips. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I think I have, I don't really have time today, but I'll have time tomorrow since the video's already done. Either tomorrow or Friday. God, I'll be another week past since I first had this issue. Excuse me. I'm about to put in some more work today. We'll see. Excuse me. All right. What's next on my to-do list? It's to manage a contract, done. Clips, done. Oh, that's in progress. Needle mat is next. All right, let's get planning that. I'm really sorry. I haven't, I haven't brought you along all the way for this, but I... I just kind of like threw down some notes I had. So for the Needle Mat 2 video where we shotgun a Red Bull. First thing is um, the setup want. So the overall challenge, right, is that I try and hallucinate having taken a Red Bull because uh, Red Bull, you know, the caffeine increases brain activity. It doesn't mean it's good, just brain activity. So the setup want is that I want a challenge. Like I've been able to do it, now I want a challenge. Point of no return is I actually shock on the Red Bull. And the catch is that I get that high energy and high brain function, making it more difficult to go into that state of full relaxation. Now, my next issue is that caffeine takes 15 to 60 minutes before you feel anything. So I have to, I'm going to, rip the shotgun right now but I want to make I want to it needs to be something like I, I think it's a good opportunity for people to comment like I tell you something that Kenny does really well we'll, we'll have a quick call with him tomorrow something he does really well is add in bits in his video that will make someone comment so like here are some some stupid things uh, he's moved to cooking content now so spreading butter with a pair of scissors instead of a knife. Um, I think on one of his recent videos he put like he's balls that are going to be cooked in the oven. So they're just like balls of dough, let's say, arrange them in the shape of a, um, <laughs> a naughty thing. Um, so I'm thinking that I say shotgun, but I don't actually, sh or I mess up the shotgun somehow. Like, you know, I pierce the hole, but then I drink out of the top. It's funny, we had a beer bong that we found the other day in our house that we had since college. Haven't used it, well, maybe used it a few times after college, but in 
the last at least five years we haven't touched it but we threw that away like maybe a week ago that would have been kind of cool to use um Like I kind of like the idea of using a bull that's like painted red or something. But then, you know, while creative, you're not really sure if the user, the viewer, is going to really understand that there's actually red bull in there. So... I think we get a clip of me probably have to go outside for this, like a stabbing here, and then like that, right? But here's the thing, what do I stab it with? What's a weird thing? Butt plug. Yep, you stab it with a butt plug and then it will open. Perfect. Hmm, the only one we've got is the one I have in. As long as I wash it good. I'm going to keep that in the video as well. Shouldn't do, but just be clear, there's no butt plug, all right? So, all right, looking around the room, um, instead of a, like normally people would use their thumb or like a knife, bottle opener. What can we use? A Shrek croc? Not actually going to cut it, is it? We could use a bit of obsidian. All right, we could use obsidian, literally just volcanic rock. All right, it needs to be something super random, weird. Um... thing of fart spray soldering iron I do like a bit of lead in my drink <laughs> this this drawer and in here I like all the props I have for videos that I just may not have used yet. I'm not seeing much that's really tickling me fancy, you know what I mean? I get hung up on these parts. I could use, here we go, this will do. I'll use a tech deck. All right, let's call it here. Tech deck or the, the kid from The Incredibles. Tech deck. And then the next question is, where do I do it? Because I know I'm going to spill. Sick trick. You want to see this? There we go, see? Landed it too. There's really not much method to this. It's kind of just like, just like flick my fingers and see what happens. See that? That was a shinty butthole 3000 master flick. Heel flip. 180. 360. You just can't teach it, so that'll do. I need a shot of that 15. And then we'll finish fleshing out the video, but we do need this to hit first. I'm going to go this way because of the background light on me. Level, and I'll kill you, Neville. So 
So if I kick in here, no, I need to kick in here, right? And then, so I kick in there. And then I go to do that. Jeez, I forgot how to do this. Right? Why can't I think this through? Sometimes I wonder if I am like seriously slow in the head. So I pop and then, right, go like that. Let's try it. Maybe I'll get a gnarly trick first. Let's do it. That's super annoying. See, now I'm kind of faking it, which is what I didn't want to do. Grim. Damn it, I should really get a towel, this is stupid. I'm actually just nicking bath mats. These are old and scabby anyway. I know this is going to go everywhere. Dang, how am I going to get it in my mouth at the same time? So I'll stand back a bit. I'm so, I'm weirdly nervous for this. What am I doing? Oh, just, just do it. What am I doing? You fucking idiot, Oliver. Well, I wasted most of that. Bath that was a brilliant choice though. Just give me a second. Immediately know what my problem was. I didn't, I didn't fully commit. I even got some on the carpet. How did I manage that?
That was so bad. Okay. I'm really sorry. We've been recording for like 14 and a half minutes and all you've seen me really do is badly shotgun a Red Bull. Okay, so let's talk, let's talk through this right now, yeah? Come join me over here, Petal. Right. Okay, so we... The catch is that it gives you higher energy and brain activity, right? So the what are the couple of things that we try? Uh, we have to wait an hour. And what do I do during that time? What do I do in that hour? What is something a person would do What are the things that happen to me while I'm doing this whole thing? You know, I don't, I don't think waiting the 60 minutes for the Red Bull to kick in is helpful to the storyline in this video. Considering it has to get through all this so quickly and the viewer is here for the experience on the needle mat and how the Red Bull affects me. Waiting an hour? I think this is something that I would have been like, that's an important part to the story because that's, that's pretty big. But in terms of creating the story for someone to be entertained by it, I don't think it fits. So we'll forget that. Um, let's say I... I have to make up some things in here, but let's say like the crisis has to be that brain was just functioning too much. Yeah, I think too much going on in the brain. <laughs> brain functioning too fast, too much. What can you do to dull your senses? Right, here's something else I'm thinking about is, I don't really, I don't drink caffeine, for better or for worse. And I feel like that's a, a piece of information that can be slotted in which tells the viewer a little bit about, like, lets them in on me. Um, I, I think I have to do lie down. Um, no pain. Thinking. about taste. Maybe, like I think about these things as a sentence, a sentence, a sentence, a sentence. But what happens if this is just Longer, like more thought out. So there's typically pain, but there isn't any because I was thinking about how good it tastes. No, good it tastes, that's rubbish. 
no pain. Thinking about the time. Thinking about time, Max Red Bull. I made a video drinking the max amount that you should consume in a day, which is essentially just how much caffeine the average human should not exceed, which I think was like five cans. No pain, because I was thinking about the time I drank Max Red Bull. Um, Oh, I kind of need that Red Bull to kick in. I can't think very well. <laughs> I think I go on to Like feeling that I've been there for an eternity. Um, feel like let down for a long time. Uh, but getting fidgety. from caffeine, obviously. And then having more itches than ever. Because that's one of the things you really do have to push through is like, you feel the slight itches around your face, around your body, and you're trying to you got to control your body's urge to itch those. Urges. I think that's it. But my brain was functioning too much. So then what did I do? What would I do? If I'm lying down and my head's going crazy. Like this may change based on, you know, how I actually do it. But I'm pretty sure this is what's going to happen. What if the brain is functioning too much so I can either give up or go put on Noise cancelling headphones. Crumbs, dude. I just I can't get the crumbs. I've never said crumbs before. That's good. Obviously, that was Post Malone, rock star. What are my choices? I 
Like I keep trying. I give up. Like this could be a video that I have to come back to at some point. Like I do it, but I fail and I come back to it at some point. I, but I, it's hard when you're making this kind of content because you notice that people, if the video doesn't end with them getting what they wanted or what they expected, they're not happy about it. Which means you're kind of formulating every video to be a success and I don't, want to paint everything as a success. Um, I think the obvious climactic choices are keep trying with no change. I just give up or what do I do? What's the other thing that I could do? Yo, chat, what's something crazy? What could I do? What do people do to calm themselves down? I'm actually going to use this as a kind of a teaching moment or like an experience that really, really helped my life. So you have give up and you have move on. Now, a lot of people think these are the same thing, but actually moving on is an active choice you're making that there's something better or you're realizing that what you're trying to work towards isn't going to happen. And so you choose to do something different. It's not like just saying, ah, well, you know, I, I can't do that. It's not going to happen. And then just doing nothing. You move on to something else. So I, I played soccer in college, played, and the coach and I uh, didn't like each other. So he decided to, he took me to every single game and kept me on the bench for every single game. Didn't play me. And then when it got to my second year, I, by that time, I think I'd fallen out of love with football. I think it was my third year, actually. Fallen out of love with football, and I'd gotten a job offer in that same town to go into software engineering, which was my um, degree at the time. And I remember struggling so hard. I was like, oh, man, I'm, I'm giving up on the thing that I've loved since I was a kid. Like, how can I give up on this? And then I realized that I wasn't giving up. I was just moving on to something different because what I was putting so much effort into wasn't getting, giving me the reward or like any kind of reward that I wanted. And so it was time to make a decision to move to something else. Yeah, move on. Um, I don't think there have been enough things in here that I've tried to like overcome the brain functioning too high to be able to make a decision between giving up and moving on. Just haven't like troubleshooted. So keep trying with no change or I give up and try again to, and try tomorrow's challenge. To mozo shall Inge. <laughs> Challing. Or. Okay, let's research that quickly. Ba ding ding, da ding ding ding. Um, how to reduce effects of caffeine. What to do when you've had 
too much caffeine. There we go, practice deep breathing. Like some of the suggestions here are drink plenty of water, take a walk. One of them is no more caffeine, which you don't even have to put that in there, do you, really? What did I say? Practice deep breathing, that's right. Deep breathing. From previous season. Summit, summit like that. And then the finale. I don't know how I'm going to read that, but I'll read it. And then the finale is, you know, kind of leading on to tomorrow. I think we can use the finale here as kind of like a teaching lesson. So let's say, um, Like I'm feeling the effects of the caffeine, like washing away because of my breathing. So we can control our feelings. Next, we'll see how fast I can hallucinate. Right, I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, and I want the challenge, shotgun Red Bull. I think I'll film this while I'm getting ready with the mat and I'll have the Shrek Crocs on because those are friggin' champaroonies. Yeah, let's do that. The floor and strength are actually different in this one, isn't it? Um, self-control and the flaw is that um, external impacts change how we feel. Uh, this, the strength is that it's all comes from within, not self-control, well, kind of. All right, let's get, f let's get filming. Yo, I'm not sussy, you're sussy. It's been about 15 minutes now and I can feel the caffeine like, controlling me. Well, this is going to be difficult. Jinkies. I'm sorry, I cheated a little bit. I've been going ahead here. So for my hook, this is my back after lying on a bed of 6,000 needles, and because I'm now able to hallucinate every time, I want a new challenge. I think I'll do that face to camera. I've tried in complete darkness, and I've tried on Legos. So this time, I shotgunned an energy drink. So this time, I shotgunned an energy drink. Well, 
kind of. We'll see how that fits in there. But I don't... normally drink caffeine. What was it I said when I was on the floor? Was it at the beginning? use the waveform to see. What am I doing? Duplicate project as. Season two, episode two. Nice name there, weirdo. Oh, that's right. It, oh, for goodness sake. Okay, let's get this clip in and then I can see what I was talking about. You're all going in. I'm sorry. I did drag them in, didn't I? Yes, we're just... Computer's dying. Didn't drag them in. Come on, waveform. This is going to be difficult. Okay. Jinkies, I'm not even close. I think I either just give up or I stop and just try again tomorrow. What? I feel like the caffeine is just controlling me and I need to take back control. Practice deep breathing. Okay, so I said it for later on, but I didn't say it where I thought I actually said it. Well, this is going to be difficult. Um, okay. So let's go, but I don't normally dra drink caffeine. I, maybe I, I, did I say, oh I did in this shot. It's been about 15 minutes now and I can feel the caffeine like controlling me. That's what I was looking for. Um, I don't think I even need I think the catch already feeling it control me. Yeah. Um, feel it. It's good. All right. Process one is where I lie down. Um, but I'm okay. I took. started to lay down. I started to lay down. There was only one thing going through my head. There's only one thing occupying my mind. Uh, 
as I started to lay down. There was only one thing occupying my mind as I started to lay down. Uh, no, I don't, because it's kind of... How do I explain what I didn't like there? Then there'll be too many words to like mix in to just say what I wanted to say when I could just make it much shorter. Laying down is normally the worst part, but this time my mind was occupied. My mind was occupied with how gross I felt after drinking the human max of Red Bull. Laying down is normally the worst part, but this time my mind was but this time my mind was occupied with how gross I felt after drinking the human max of Red Bull. Red Bull Max of Human Red, Red Bull Max of Human. <laughs> how gross I felt after drinking the human max of Red Bull. But my mind was but laying down is normally the is normally my most worst part. Yeah, could go. Laying down is normally my most worst part. Feared part, but this time, laying down is normally my most feared part. But this time, I didn't feel anything. Laying down is normally my most feared part, but this time I didn't feel anything. My mind was occupied with how gross I felt. My, moan, my mind was 100% occupied with how gross I felt after drinking the human max of Red Bull. After the time I drank. Cool, and then we got some clips of that. I don't even know which hard drive that's on. What is this? Um, feel like lead down for long... Oh, yeah. Time felt... The time seemed to fly by. And I was constantly waiting for... A noise worse than fingernails on a chalkboard. The time seemed to fly by, and I was constantly waiting for a noise worse than fingernails on a chalkboard. I'm going to do pen on white. Is it white or wipe board? That's for the fingernails bit. Um, this, with how gross I felt after the time I drank the human max of Red Bull. But the time seemed to fly by and I was constantly waiting for a noise worse than fingernails on a chalkboard. But it never came. Okay, pen on whiteboard screeching. Maybe, I'm not sure about that yet because people get might get annoyed at it. The time seemed to fly by and I was constantly waiting for a noise worse than thing. I feel like I can feel the Red Bull in me. The time seemed to fly by and I was constantly waiting for a noise worse than fingernails on a chalkboard, but it never came. The caffeine 
pumping through my veins. Pumping. The caffeine pumping through my veins. Was making me fidget. Worse than my son. <laughs> son. <laughs> and the caffeine pumping through my veins was making me fidget worse than my son. And I couldn't stop the urges to itch. Yes, I like that a lot. We then hit the crisis. Which I guess that kind of is the crisis, isn't it? Oh no, but then I had some comments. Either just give up or I... All right. Jinkies, I'm not even close. I feel like I'm acting weird on this now. The time seems to fly by. The... Jinkies, I'm not even close. Okay. Something before that, or was that the one I'm thinking about? Well, this is going to be difficult. Well, this is going to be difficult. Okay, uh, well, this is going to be difficult. The caffeine pumping through my veins was making me fidget worse than my son. That's not even, that's not. It's making me fidget. And I couldn't stop. And I couldn't control. Yeah, let's use that word. I think. Uh, then I get into, it's over here. I feel like the caffeine is just controlling me, and I need to take that control. Yes. Oh, wait. Let's try those breathing exercises. Or I... Alright, I'm thinking I either just give up... Where the hell did, does that meant to go? Because this is stop or give up. I don't know. Stop or give up. The caffeine is just controlling me and I need to take that control. Practice deep breathing. Oh, I've done that before. It's long, isn't it? Darn it. Banana is need to control it. And then you have... God, I didn't think there was so much stuff in here.
I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to bring this down, aren't they? Four. Hmm. But it never came. Okay, the caffeine pumping through my veins was making me fidget and I couldn't control the urges to itch. Stop or give up, right? Where does this happen? I feel like the caffeine is controlling me. So this. I feel like, right? I can either stop or give up. I feel like the caffeine is controlling me. And if I can control it and deep breathing and I think that comes from it. need to control it. So stop breathing. The focus. It's so serious, isn't it? So serious. The There. After a few minutes of deep breathing, I sunk back into the pulsating circles again. Let's call it breathing control after a few minutes of breathing. Let's throw that word in there again. After a few minutes of breathing control, I sunk back into the pulsating circles again. And then the final clip, I think that's it. It shouldn't be too long actually. All right, let's re record. I want to get back down here and uh, finish this off. I'm gonna go and help out with the wife and baby right now. And then I can do this later. Just, I don't know why, I just felt like I need to say that. So, <laughs> that's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll be back. Uh, just, um, what am I trying to say? Finished the video, got it done in between doing, like, helping out. Then the wife left for her group. <laughs> Managed to get Rugi down. It's now, like, 20, quarter past nine. The video has been up for about an hour. Actually really pleased with it, but it's done about 13 and a half K. So it looks promising. See you tomorrow.